Okay, welcome to uh, part two of Let's Play Angband, uh, Kobold Rogue. Um, okay, so uh, so I'm gonna try and start each video with some sort of description of some game mechanic or or a display mechanic of something of the sort. So in this video, I'm gonna talk just about a minute or so about uh, sub windows because this is one of the first things you see. So this is the main window uh, where all the excitement happens. Um, this is probably where most of you will be paying most attention. But in the periphery, there's some important information down here. So down here, there's a list of all the uh, messages that we've seen. So the the most recent message is this feeling that there's nothing exciting in this in this place. Uh, but all the previous things that that occurred are are down here. Um, so the other ones are are empty, but here is if I look at a monster, a description of the monster will come here. I'll point it out when when we do that. Um, this is a list of all the monsters in my vicinity. So right now there's no monsters that I see, so I'm kind of safe. It's, it's this is the most important probable window to keep track of to know what's around. And this is the same, but instead of monsters, it's items. This is where I know where I want to go, and and uh, to find things. So that's about. Oh, okay, so actually that's not it. So there's one other thing I want to mention is how to set the sub windows because you could change these around. So, um, so I guess the easiest option would be if you go to the options menu using the equals key. There's sub window display settings, and you can see there's there's a bunch of other things. Like a lot of people, some people like putting putting uh, their inventory in it. So you can see display display inventory equipment. So let's just do that instead of. Uh, just to see what it looks like instead of the monster list, we'll we'll do that. Uh, this monster list, no monster recall. Uh, monster list. Okay, so instead of monster list, we'll do inventory. And now you can see our inventory is up here instead of the monsters. So some people like to have that. I find it a lot easier to to remember what I have um, than it is to keep track of the monster. So what I have is more static, and the monsters are more fluid. They change quite a bit, and it's good to keep track of those things. Okay, so now let's continue. We're going down to dungeon level two. Uh, there's two monsters that I really want to be careful at about on this level. There's a so Angband is based on uh, the Tolkien world, and there's some unique monsters scattered around. And two of the unique monsters are uh, the farmer maggots dogs, and they appear on starting on the second level. And I'm not sh they might they move fast. They're always awake. So they might kill me. I have eight flasks of oil. That might be enough to <laughs> to to handle them. And I have five phase door. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. So 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 you, as you can see, we looked at this monster. It comes up down here. Um, description of it. So this is a a new save file. So I don't really know much about it. But um, crows are sort of dangerous. They move fast. And I could I could imagine that I'm going to get killed pretty easily. It's also awake, so it's going to come right after me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a flask of oil at it and hope to hit it. And I did, and I killed it. Um, so that was good. Uh, let's see. And Okay, oh, white mouse. This is an easy monster. Um, it won't give me much experience, but it's, anything will help to get us that much closer to the next level. Um, we would like to get to Dungeon Level 3. Okay, so what happened there was I ran into a trap, um, a gas trap, and it paralyzed me. So this is actually a easy source of experience, so we disarm it, and now we're in Dungeon Level 3. We got only six more hit points, which isn't very good, but, um, well, it is what it is. Uh, I picked up a robe, put it on right away. We'll try and see whether that's good. Found a scroll of phase door, perfect. Could use some of those. I haven't found any money yet, which is a little disheartening. Usually by now you find one. Okay, so a whole bunch of cave spiders. Those monsters will will probably kill me, so I'm going to avoid them. Uh, we'll go somewhere else. They're, they were asleep, so we can avoid them. Uh, floating eye. Oh, I'm not too worried about the floating eye right now. We're just going to power through it. 30, 30 hit points is enough probably to survive that. Oh, more cave spiders. Jeez. These are in a hallway though. So I might be able to to uh, to take care of it. So they'll give me 4.67. So let's go back here and see if we can uh, rest and sneak up on them. Okay, so they're all asleep. 
Yeesh. I killed one of them. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> if, I, if I want to. They're going to wake up soon. Okay, let's get out of here. I, I don't want those spiders following me down the corridor. So they're, they're pack animals, so they'll stay in the room. Oh, jeez. A spawned monster, and it confused me. Um, so I'm confused. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't have any cure light ones. This is not good. Um, so I'm just going to try and hopefully attack it enough to scare it away. I'm no longer confused. Okay, so I still have half my hit points, so I'm not too much danger. Uh, now it's running away. So we'll just wait here for it to come back. And, okay, got it. Okay, so that's that's the the danger about having high stealth characters, is you get these monsters that spawn on the level, which that apprentice probably did, and it, it uh, and is automatically awake. So here's an amulet. Okay, so both the robe and the cloak I picked up are normal. If you look at my, my equipment, those are the only things I'm wearing. The torch, the weapon, the robe, and the cloak. So it gives me some some uh, improvement to my armor class, but not really all that much. Um, what, what level do I have? I have to be level 5 to cast the tech monsters. That's ugly. Okay, so we're, that's that's the immediate goal. Get to level 5 as quickly as possible because tech monsters is very useful. Um, so we're almost on level four. So let's kill some more of these these weak monsters. The centipedes are pretty weak. They don't give me much experience, though. Okay, potion of heroism. That's that's very useful. Two ten mushrooms. We actually might eat one. Let's see what is it. Uh, it's f terror, which is somewhat useful. So I, I don't want it right now. It makes you fast, and but it also keep doesn't let you attack things. So. So I, I just rested so that status effect went away. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you just saw this. I was attacking one of them, and another one appeared below it. Uh, these monsters can breed, so that means more of them can appear if they're awake. If they're awake and moving around, and I think you have to be somewhat close to them also, then more of them can appear. And... Uh, so you have to be a little careful for some. Like the mouse we killed earlier, it also breeds. The worm masses breed, and uh, some some monsters are, are actually that breed are, are can be pretty dangerous and can kill you. And sometimes they'll just close off a section of the dungeon, and you just can't get there. Okay, so and sometimes I like seeing this because it means there's an area of the dungeon which I can explore later, but monsters can't get by. And monsters, except for ones that can go through walls, cannot get by rubble. That's nice. Uh, shrieker. So I probably should have thrown something at it because it just so what it did was it shrieked, which uh, wakes everything up in the vicinity. So now I can't sneak up on any monsters. So hopefully there wasn't mu much dangerous here. Um, giant green, f green frog is not dangerous, but I'm having some trouble killing it. Uh, 18 rounded pebbles, so I can use those uh, with a sling or I can throw them, um, but. <laughs> It's about, they're not terribly useful if you don't have a sling. They'll do like two damage. Uh, Acolyte is asleep. So uh, this, this monster can be dangerous if there's more than one. But just one, I think we can handle. There's just one, and it tried to, to uh, terrify me, but I was lucky enough to resist. If I did, I just have to run away from it or throw things at it. Okay, so we haven't run into the dogs, which is nice, because... So did I find a stairs? Jeez. Okay, so I did not I did not find a stairs, which is unfortunate, because uh, I can't get out of here. Um, so we're going to go this way, down, and maybe there's a... Maybe if I can hit the right button, maybe there's a stairs down here. So a bunch of jackals, four violet potions. Let's hope that's cure light wounds. That'd be very nice. Okay, so jackals are another group monster, so they won't... They won't chase me into the car door, or or will they? Maybe they will. No, no, they're hanging back into this in this room, um, unless I'm I'm uh, w wounded enough that they have confidence. They'll just wait there, and so you can kind of you know kill them as you will. You just have to be careful because when you go out here, many of them can attack you. So with the jackals, it's not that much of a problem because they're weak. But some other monsters that can lead to immediate death. Um, ugh. So I don't have much of a choice. I have to go 
guess I go this way. Oh, maybe there's a passageway this way. Okay, so again, that pattern, that comes up a lot, and it's indicative of a, a secret door in the vicinity. Okay, good, I found it downstairs. So that's nice. So I'm level 4 already, so I'm already over-leveled. I got a good roll the last one, so I have 45 hit points. That's kind of nice. I'm not doing very much damage still. Um, I have a lot of crap. Let's, uh, actually, let's wield this amulet of charisma. It's useless. Um, let's read one of these scrolls. So what was that? Trap detection. Okay. Um, what about this one? Treasure detection. Okay. So later we'll get the real treasure spell, but for now this is this is what this is what uh, non rogues get for their treasure detection. They they only can see things that are. Um, they just they just see that there's an item there. They don't kind of see what it is, and then. Uh, these 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 treasures are. Um, it also detects these things. Treasures hidden in the walls. Oh, salamander. So these guys breathe fire, but otherwise not too dangerous. Uh, they can burn your books if you're unlucky, and they breathe on you. Another stairs. Okay, so I want to see what those items were. There's a furry mushroom and a green potion. Um, let's. Uh, okay, so I have a couple mushrooms. I'm going to eat some of them. Uh, mushroom of emergency. So this thing heals hit points and gives you some temporary resistances, but it gives you hallucinations which last forever. So all the <laughs> I just rested it away. So I've rested a lot on this level, which is kind of dangerous for a stealth character because that means lots of monsters spawn. Um, so, but I'm close to the stairs, so I think that that's good. Uh, is there anything there? I had one other mushroom. Um, I could I could use trap detection again, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this room. Okay, what is this? Uh, what do we got? Trap detection, detect invisible. Oh man, it's just all trap detection. Face door, okay, that's good. I want those. Um, let's kill this thing. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. It's awake, but whatever. It can fill up the level for all I care. We're going to go down to the next level. I've had enough of here. We didn't. We didn't find a good weapon. Oh, I should have gone to that stairs over there. We didn't find a good weapon uh, yet. But what? I mean, our weapon isn't terrible. Oh, I forgot to check those potions when I was injured. Uh, let's eat the last mushroom while I'm here. Uh, okay, that's that's useful. A mushroom of clear mind. So that that cures confusion. I could have used it before. It cures hallucination also, and it gives you temporary resistance to confusion. So those, that's an important thing to know that I have in my inventory. Okay, so let's go down. Dungeon level three. Um, okay, so state of affairs. We have 45 hit points. We don't have ter terribly much useful in our inventory. We're 24 away from dungeon level five, which is an important uh, point because that then I will have uh, detect monsters and we will be making extensive use of detect monsters in this game and pretty much it's the most important spell uh, in the game detect monsters or uh, detect evil I guess if you're a priest or paladin you don't get you don't get detect monsters you get the the weaker detect evil okay so we found some gold which is good because now if we go back to town well, we could buy at least one <laughs> um, Word of recall, we're almost enough that we can afford to. And we already found the stairs. Okay. Uh, which way do I want to go? Was there wasn't that was all dead ends up there. I guess we'll go this way. Well, uh, uh, so I keep on hitting up when I mean to to hit shift. Okay, new potion. And so some of these levels aren't aren't very exciting, but you kind of need to. You need to get some basic equipment and experience, and it's more fun to find them in the dungeon than to. Uh... Okay, so this this weird pattern means that there's a circular room here. Um, it's a sort of an odd dungeon shape. A kobold shaman. So this I think give lots of experience. Eleven experience. Yeah. But it can also cast spells. What can it cast? Oh, I don't know yet. I think it casts. Uh, some some dangerous things, but it's pretty weak, and it gives me good experience. Ugh, apparently, it can heal because it just did. Oh, and <laughs> what am I? Did what did it do? It cursed me again. 
Oh, jeez. A <sighs> giant white mouse is awake. Uh, so that's bad. And this white jelly... Uh, well... I don't know. We, well, we'll see. We might have to abandon this section of the dungeon. I really wanted to kill that cobalt shaman. So these these might see they can see they're they're breeding and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get, drink one of these heroism to get some hit points back. Man, it's just jeez. Um, I'm gonna have to eat my clear mind and drink the other heroism. I'll drink a uh, cure serious wounds. Okay, finally. And I don't know whether I want to try and kill these mice or not. There's a lot of them. Shoot. Okay. I might have gotten them all. So this will give me, what, five experience. I don't know. They have lots of health, though. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, fine. It's worth it. Touch the poison. Okay, it's not too dangerous. Okay, it's gone. And, oh, shoot. The mice got ar around me. So I don't I don't know if I can if I can clear out these mice. I thought I thought I had finished with them, but they they sort of ran away. Okay. Um Will this get me there? This this blue centipede? Yes, it will. If I can kill the blue centipede, then I'll get to dungeon level 5. So that's the goal. Then we'll go down the stairs. Okay, dungeon level 5. So we can gain one spell, and that's going to be detect monsters. I only have one spell point, <laughs> so I'll get to cast it once. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, I guess that's the disadvantage of having only 12 int. I thought I thought you get more when you when you first gain. I thought you get two per level, but I guess you don't you don't start until you can gain your first spell. Okay. Um Jello Jelly's awake. Oh, we're just gonna go down the stairs. Let's go to dungeon level four. Oh So Adamantite. So <laughs> if this is a monster we're dead, but it's level five, so I can't imagine it is a monster. Okay, let's try casting a spell. We have fifty percent chance of being successful. And we were not successful. <laughs> okay. Five scrolls of light. And we got a lot of money. Okay, so that, that actual money for safety, it might be worth it to go back to town and and um, let's kill this thing and get some stuff, get a better weapon or I, I don't know what we can get. We can get some, maybe get a sling. There's a lot of things that we can do um, with with two thousand two thousand gold. Um, but okay, well we'll walk around a little bit. I ha I'm I'm amazed that I haven't run into the the dogs by this point. Usually they they show up. Okay, five violet potions. I have nine. Okay, cobalt archers. These guys can be dangerous. I'm deciding whether I want to try and fight it. Um, they're dangerous because they can attack. They can fire arrows at you. And I don't know. I don't know if if those I, those potions have got to be. They got to be cure light wounds. Well, I'm gonna assume that those potions are cure light wounds, and I'm gonna attack it. This might have been might have be dangerous. Okay, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna have to throw a flask foil at it. Okay, it's gone, and it didn't drop anything. Now it's a good time to try the potion. What is it? Yes, it is. It was cure light wounds. Um, so now now I know that these potions are cure light wounds. I have eight of them. That makes me feel a little safer about my position. Let's try some of these other potions. Now it's best to try potions when you're injured. Um, I don't know what I won't know what that is. Resist heat, resist cold. Okay, so I've identified some of the basic potions. Large gray snake. Um, this also this is another monster that moves slowly, so we can cheese the hell out of it, and we're going to. It's also kind of hard to hit and has a decent amount of hit points. There's 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 several monsters that are like this. Some of the golems we'll come across later are like this. And okay, so we're very close to to dungeon level six. That'll be. Uh, just character level six. So that'll be a, a nice improvement. Oh, okay. Let's try casting it again. No, failed to concentrate enough. 
Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of that message. Uh, what, what, what is detect objects at 10? That's that's the, really the next important spell. There's also find traps, doors, and stairs, which we'll get along the way, but that's not nearly as important as, well, in my opinion, it's not nearly as important as detect objects. Um, I think we're just going to continue on for now. Uh, I'm not too worried about about dangerous stuff. We're gonna try and get to dungeon level uh, to character level six, and then we'll go down to the next level. Uh, try casting it again. Ah, okay. So this is the first successful cast. So it's good to. This is so useful because you can see what's around you. So okay, so this monster I'm not afraid of. It's a silver jelly. Can't move. Uh, silver mouse. There. I'm not afraid of it either. There's two other monsters. There's a blue worm mat somewhere, and there's a kobold. Um, so let's look around to find out where they are. Okay, they're both down. So and there's not not so you can see there's there's absolutely nothing here that that's gonna uh, that's a danger to me. So it's it's there's no reason not to explore. Um, the only thing that might happen is I might get some spawned monsters that I run into, and that that's a problem. But there's nothing you can do about that. And also invisible monsters, which I'm not worried about yet, but we'll have to be worried about that sooner. Eventually, we'll have to figure out a way to to detect. Okay, we got the dungeon level six. We got an extra spell point. Uh, and then we can, <laughs> we can get two attempts to cast attack monsters, uh, and so that's that's good. Uh, actually, do you know what? Let's let's read. Uh, I thought. Oh no, I don't. I thought I had another detect treasure scroll, but I don't. Okay, we'll leave that there. Oh, I thought I was gonna go down a level. I did. So let's let's just go down a level. There's not much. There's no reason to hang around at these lower levels when you can get down. Okay, large kobold. This this monster is, is dangerous. They have something like 60, 60 health. So that's not a monster that I can fight at this point. Um, but it's asleep and if I'm lucky it'll stay asleep. Let's see what else is around in the vicinity. Um, giant white dragonfly is probably the most dangerous monster around, but it's actually not terribly dangerous. The worm mass would be dangerous if it moved. Nothing else really moves. So I really just have to worry about this this kobold. Uh, I got two unidentified scrolls there. So I'm I'm started out in a dark room, which is not the place you want to be, especially when you have no way of. Well, I did have a way of lighting it up, but I didn't want to wake up the kobold. Uh, so I could have read one of my scrolls of light, and I would have if the kobold wasn't there. Okay, I got a short bow. That's actually extremely useful. Well, if I had arrows, it'd be extremely useful. But it will be because I'll buy arrows. Okay, eight cave orcs. So okay, so. These monsters are red, which means that they're out of depth, and <laughs> they are extremely dangerous for for this character. Um, they're not anything that I want to face at this point. So the only question I have is whether I want to try and get this 165. I think I will, and then get get out of dodge. Let's see what else is around. Oh, okay, so here's here's the dog that I was talking about. Grip. And you can see it's awake, but it can't get past the <laughs> sleeping kobold in the way, so it, it can't find its way to me at this point. And there's a lot of stuff up there, and not not much of it was dangerous, but uh, there's a dog that found another way at me. I think I can, I'm pretty sure, I have 68 hit points, so I'm pretty sure this dog is not anything to be afraid of at this point. But it would have been when I only had, uh, only had 24 health or something. Okay, that's uh, let's got some jackals here. We'll just slaughter them. They don't give any experience, and they're just sort of a waste. Okay, so he's so you see the dog just ran away, and they kind of cowered in the corner until until it felt strong enough to uh, to come back after me, and I just sort of waited for it. Um, oh, there's the other one. Okay, so maybe it didn't find its way around. Maybe now now this is this found its way around. So. Okay, so I killed both the dogs, but so they are the earliest unique monsters you'll come across. Um, there is a couple others that are early in the game. I don't want to go this way. Uh, so the question is, what to do now? I think what I want to do is go back to town um, and do some basic shopping, and that, let's do that. And this will be a good place to stop. So I read the word of recall. That's going to take me back to town. And okay, so now I'm back in town, and I'll figure out what to buy 
and what to spend my money on offline so I don't have to waste time doing that. So that's it for this video. Uh, we survived to dungeon level 5. Hopefully next time maybe we'll get to dungeon level 10 and I'll see you in the next part.